Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the um, Enterprise Suite CRM demonstration. Um, okay, we're going to log in as Admin UK and we're going to log into the uh, Demo Corporation database and we're going to run the system over the local area network, uh, obviously rather than the internet. Essentially the interface is exactly the same, it's just which, uh, which way it's actually running it. Okay, so I'm going to sign in. <coughs> okay. So you get to you know, get get used to know the menus. Okay, uh, we've got new, uh, and we've got find areas. New, obviously, new lead, new customer, create a new company, a, a new um, activity, um, and find is when we actually find them. Okay, so if I sort of, let's say click on find as an example, <coughs> oh, will pop up a list of customers, and if I open one up just by clicking on it, <coughs> we also have a menu, a menu menu down here. So you can uh, bring this up if you like this type of menu, or you could actually push it down and use the icons and a bit of the menu. We also have skins for each data set. Okay, so what that means is that uh, for one data set, you might have one different look and feel, and another one, another. Uh, just to remind you that you're actually in that data set. So I picked this particular one, and if you look at the customer, you can see that the whole form's changed. And if I look at another one, like Asphalt World, again, it changes. I'm going to stick with the uh, default one because it looks more XP um, and that's obviously my preference. Okay, <coughs> now we also have on the right dashboards. Okay, so we've got the workflow dashboard and we could use this as our menu. So if I click on there, that'll be new lead. If I click on here, that's going to find a new activity, uh, find an opportunity. Okay, so we've got a workflow menu, our normal tree type menu, uh, which is, uh, you know, new find and tools. Um, if I look into customer, as an example, you'll see that tools has a lot of different things in it, you know, like um, allocating stock, refunds, all the things that you wouldn't usually do, yeah, but you kind of need to do sometimes. Okay, so let's just run through the menu. Um, let's create a new lead. Okay, so a lead, uh, there's leads, prospects and customers. Um, leads are effectively uh, cold, uh, they're, let's say they're, they're inquiries off the website, they're databases that you want to import um, and you've not talked to the, the actual end users yet. Um, so leads are they're leads but they're not prospects yet. Uh, leads can be converted to prospects, leads can be converted to customers and leads can be converted to a prospect and an opportunity or a customer and an opportunity as well. Okay, so let's, let's create a lead name. Um, and example lead company okay <clears throat> the contact name okay well, let's call this mr. Uh, lead contact there's a button here and there's a button in a few places around the program and, and what this actually does is um, it allows us to format the contact properly okay so automatically if I type in mr. lead contact it will format that as the salutation the first and the last automatically but it's a, it's a way for me to make sure that the address is formatted so if I want to say dear lead yeah then then obviously I could do that okay another feature in this product is um, plug-in architecture okay um, and, and the country um, is an example of a plugin. Um, so if in the United Kingdom, we have from an address point of view an address, city, county, and postcode. Okay. Um, and but if I look at the United States, if this lead was in the United States, when I pick on the United States, you can see that the address format now changes into city, state, and postcode. And there's actually a pull down on the postcode now because if you pick, you, you have to. Um, the, the system holds all the, all the zip codes for, all, for the United States and Canada uh, because they're freely available. Obviously in the UK they're not freely available so it's up to you whether you buy the PATH file or not. Um, but essentially um, it comes with the American and the Canadian ones already there. Um, and you can see that it automatically puts in the city, state and county for you. And all you've got to do is type in the address. Uh, I suppose we're a bit more fortunate in the United Kingdom in that our postcode actually includes the address, so all you have to type in is the number. But obviously, it's it's a chargeable database. Um, okay, so let's change this back. Uh, let's, let's just leave it as the United States. Uh, the phone number, whatever that might be. Um, if you if you don't put any spaces in, okay, then what it'll do is it'll format the number for you as well. Okay, but if you put spaces in the actual number. Then it will keep it'll keep it exactly as you enter it. 
there's space for fax number, email address. It's automatically assigned it to me, but I could assign it to someone else. It's, it would have automatically put my team in there if I had a team. Uh, and there's obviously lots of other things in here, and there's obviously custom fields. You'll see around the program a lot of these boxes, um, and, this, uh, and this allows you to easily drop on whatever extra fields you want to each form. Um, in the user role setup, you can actually drag and drop every field on and off the form. Yeah, but essentially this was a very quick and easy way for a user to be able to do that themselves. Okay, so whatever notes you want to put in there, if you want, if you want to put any at all, um, so we save it. Yeah, save and close. Okay. Now, if I look at find to find a lead, let's say now I'm going to call that lead. Okay. Um, and I've talked to them, and you know um, they want to, you know, they want to do something with us. So I can convert the lead. I can disqualify it straight off the bat, or I can convert the lead. And I can convert it to a prospect or a customer, and I can also generate an opportunity at the same time. So if I create a customer account and generate an opportunity, um, and say I want to view this created record, I'll say OK. So what it'll do is it'll convert the lead and create the customer record and create the opportunity record as well. OK. And so if I refresh the list, oops, OK. That, because there's only one in the list now, it brings it up immediately because it thinks that's what you want. Okay, so that's why obviously when I refresh, that's what happens. Okay, so let's create a new prospect. Okay, so uh, it's in the United Kingdom. Uh, the name is a new prospect, we'll call this P R O S. Okay, the contact name is Mr. Prospect. And the postal address, because it's in the United Kingdom, I can just enter whatever I want. Okay, this little criteria here, is it a business or is it a consumer? Okay, because we're very closely linked to the e-commerce system, okay, what we've uh, effectively had to do is to allow anybody in a, in, in, the, in, a, in a country in the world, like France, Germany, Spain, or uh, the United States, to be able to set themselves up an account via our website or e-commerce site, yeah, We've set up templates for each of those countries. So, for example, if we invoice someone in France, if they were a business, okay, we would invoice them EC sales, VAT rate. Okay? Uh, if they were a consumer, though, in France, we didn't have their VAT registration number, then we would invoice them our normal tax, you know, our normal standard rate, 17.5%. So what we're saying here is this is a prospect in the United Kingdom, Okay, uh, and it well in the United Kingdom it doesn't really matter because whoever we invoice in the United Kingdom we're going to basically charge them normal no, normal tax. Okay, so what's what is I'll, I'll I'll say next, and you can see that it brings through the currency and the tax description as well as a lot of other things as well. If I go back and say no 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 this 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 prospect is in France, okay, and it's a business. Now what will happen is it will bring through the euro. Yeah, and the tax description of EC sales. Um, <clears throat> if I kind of said, no, 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 they're a consumer, yeah, not a, not a business, then it will put the standard rate tax in. It's just so we could all, we, we, we could allow someone in France, if we ever dealt with the obviously people in France, to actually auto set their account up via our website, and it would default the correct settings in, so we invoice them properly. Okay, so I'll finish that and just save that prospect. Okay. And a new customer is effectively the same. Okay, so let's look at uh, a dashboard. Okay, a calendar dashboard. Okay, so what we can see here is obviously all all, all the things that we're doing. Uh, we can see uh, from a diary point of view, we can see a list of to dos. Okay, so we can see that I need to take the car for the service and also pick up the laundry there. Okay, if I wanted to, I can also see my callbacks and I can actually pin these panes by clicking there. So I can now see my calendar, my to dos, and my callbacks. I also have an activity filter, so I can see just particular activity types, um, or I can just say, no, the, the, the completed and the cancelled ones, I don't want to see. Yeah, so it'll take those off. 